Guiyu has been a trash town for decades. You can smell it before arrival. Everywhere you can see both signs of wealth and chaotic piles of junk. Nearly 20 years of dealing with scrapped electronics have turned ditches black. The air is permeated with burnt plastics and baked circuitry. Here, these men mine the gold from circuit boards using industrial chemicals without protection. They earn little more than ten dollars a day and jokingly dismiss the horrible pollution. The environmental toll has been horrific. Soil has turned as black as coal, water like soy sauce. Not far from Guadalajara, both adults and children take apart obsolete electronic components from the assembly plants. Some recyclable parts are sent back to the factories to be used again. Highly hazardous material is sent to other workshops to recover precious metals like gold and silver. Both the factory workers and the electronic waste recyclers face serious health problems from exposure to hazardous materials. ICT industry is growing in Nigeria and it is happening here within the computer village. Talk of anything computer, you get it here. We are going digital. In numerous dumps wedged between residential apartments or tossed into swampy waysides, the imported techno trash was simply dumped and set afire. What's happening? I have problem because when they bomb all this, I know that the chemicals are not good for human health. The tube, the plastics are not good. So we, do, we have complained over time, but nobody's helping us out. The gases are very hazardous. They are obnoxious. They contain toxic components. They are quite carcinogenic substances. And the problem you will find now that uh, the incidence of uh, such terrible disease like cancer is very high now in Nigeria. We have an image of the electronics industry as a clean industry. It's really not clean. Um, not clean in the sense that it uses a great deal of hazardous materials in their processes. There is no one more qualified to understand what's inside these things and why they're toxic than the entity that made them. When required to do it, by environmental laws and by health and safety laws, the ingenuity of this industry is enormous. But if they are not 
given the proper incentives for doing it, it just isn't going to happen. Unfortunately, it is the environment and the workers who are suffering the most from an industry that is rapidly growing with no control. It is the responsibility of the corporate to produce products that are greener, that last longer, and does not contain all these hazardous chemicals in them.